Well, April is National Minority Cancer Awareness Month. A local breast cancer survivor wants to share her story. And on your side, Chandra Thomas also looks at the importance of sharing health information with your family. Advocate for yourself if you feel something's wrong. Myra Hubri is cancer free these days, but that wasn't always the case. Actually, never thought to do breast cancer exams, anything like that. That's not something I really grew up knowing. Ten years ago, she was diagnosed with breast cancer, and it was found because of issues with her gallbladder. I actually had a gallbladder attack, and because of gallstones and getting a CT to check my gallbladder, they caught the bottom of my right breast, which then revealed that I had some some suspicious looking. Um, her four-year battle came with a double mastectomy and 14 surgeries. I was diagnosed with stage 1A um, invasive breast cancer, which just means it didn't hit my lymph nodes. Myra lost her father to melanoma skin cancer and her mother to an aneurysm. Both were medical issues that the family wasn't aware of until it was too late. And filling out medical history forms on the day of her diagnosis was an eye-opening experience. Myra's pages were blank. I feel that more of the Hispanic culture is very private about these things. I never knew my parents' um, medical backgrounds, anything like that. So I never thought, you know, it, it was like ignorance was bliss up until this happened. According to the American Cancer Society, cancer is the leading cause of death among the Hispanic Latino population, accounting for 20 percent of deaths and breast cancer is the most common cause of cancer deaths among Latinas in the U.S. Even knowing about heart disease, anything like that, I mean, that's we never talked about that until later years as my mother was ill. Did I finally find out some background? Now this grandmother makes it a point to share as much health information as possible to help preserve the future of her family. I have not only talked to my children about our family history, I have kept a documentation. Because sometimes having that knowledge can mean the difference between life and death. I'm just glad to still be here. Um, I'm going to keep advocating as much as I can. There's always hope. I mean, I'm sitting proof of it. Shandrea Thomas, KGA 9 on your side.